All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation three to the power of x plus nine to the power of x is equal to 27 to the power of x. So to start, I'm gonna rewrite this as three to the power of x plus three squared to the power of x is equal to three to the power of three to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is turned into three to the power of x plus three to the power of two x plus three to the power of three x. Or sorry, is equal to three to the power of three x. And now I can rewrite this as three to the power of x plus three to the power of x to the power of two is equal to three to the power of x to the power of three. Now I'm going to let three to the power of x equal to the variable y. So this turns into y plus y squared is equal to y to the power of three. Now I'm gonna subtract y to the power of three on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get negative y to the power of three plus y squared plus y is equal to zero. And if I divide both sides by negative one, I get y to the power of three minus y squared minus y is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm gonna factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I get y equals zero, which is a solution, and y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So for y squared minus y minus one equals zero, to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is negative one, and c is negative one. So this turns into negative of negative one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is negative one, all over two a, so two times one. And now this is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one plus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So these are two more solutions of y now remember how we let three to the power of x equal to y. So we have three to the power of x equals zero and two more solutions. So let me write my three equations over here. We have three to the power of x equals zero. Three to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. And three to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. So to start, with equation number one, you can't take the power of a number and make it equal zero. So there's no solution to this equation. Now with equation two, I have three to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. So I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two. An important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log three to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log three is equal to log of one plus the square root of five over two. Now we wanna isolate x, so I'm gonna divide both sides by log three So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log of one plus the square root of five over two over log three. So this is a solution of x and you might think that we should do the same thing with this. However, notice how one minus the square root of five over two is a negative number and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So there's no solution to this and my only solution is this.